What's going on everybody? We're here with another diecast review and today's diecast review This has been almost a year in the making well technically like nine and a half to ten months in the making It's how long it took them actually to make this car car looks super sweet But it's Justin Algar's Martinsville car if you actually pick the Martinsville car in the picture that I posted of what the cars the two cars were the second car which we did yesterday was the Ryan Blaney if you haven't seen that video Please go do so. That was yesterday's. That was the championship car, which was, I love that car with championship trophies. But if you haven't watched that, please go back yesterday and watch that one video. But now the second one was the Justin Algar. So if you pick Justin Algar in the comments, you got it right. So if you picked Ryan Blaney and Justin Algar, you got it right. So we're going to take a closer look at the box here. You have the 2023 race winner on top with Lana Racing, NASCAR 75th anniversary. Race version 124, the official diecast of NASCAR. Of course, you have the render pick. Then you have the standard finish there. You have Lano Racing, the official diecast of NASCAR. Of course, LanoRacingGarage.com on the back. Same thing that we read on top. Man, I miss when they used to put, like, schedules and stuff actually on the back of the box, not just what the top of the box looks like. And of course, you got trademarks on the bottom. The sticker on the side, which is a standard finish, but... It's the autograph version, which is one of 504 for Justin Algar. So that's enough of the box. The box looks good. I do like the boxes, but I wish they could do actually a little bit better. I mean, you're paying, I think I paid 85 for this one. So I wish they would do a little bit better on the boxes. Just my opinion. But what you get with it, you get that the autograph's real from Junior Motorsports. You get the Xfinity race win sticker it looks good you get the return policy you get the build drain virtual garage and now you get the stat card stat cards from martinsville justin algar dead on tools 250 winner october 28th 2023 from martinsville virginia of course this was a playoff race you got time of the race was two hours 26 minutes and seven seconds start at second Total last was 256 for 134.656 miles. Number of cautions was 15 for 101 laps. That's a lot of laps. Laps led by the winner was 21, and margin of victory was 0.032 seconds. So overall, the stat card does look good. Looks pretty decent. I like Justin Algar with the grandfather clock. That looks good. So now that's enough of the stat card. Let's actually lay it up top. Let's take a closer look at the car. Oh, the car looks so good. We're going to kick it off with the left side of the car. Of course, you can see the autograph there on the windshield. We'll go over that here in a second. So you got LF. Was that LF2? You got Goodyear. Look how much rub is up there on that Goodyear. You can barely make it out on that O and a D. You got the 75th anniversary sticker. NASCAR Xfinity Series playoffs. Round of eight. Of course, one. I was about to say 164s, but... 124 is actually on the Xfinity cars. I got that hard plastic one in that. Remember when it was actually like that soft cotton? That was pretty cool. You got Justin Algar's name rail, three winner stickers, Exalta with the American flag, Hillman's. You got a really good uh, donut right here. That looks good. You can see like the tire rubs here. That looks so good. You got the jack stand. You got the good year there. Not as much rubbed off as the front but still looks good you got Hillman's since 1913 with the Hillman's mayonnaise you can see a lot of tire rubs and all of that all over this car this car is like phenomenal definitely one if you haven't picked up I think over time this car is literally going to be one that's going to be hard to find just because of the race damage all over it you got the Camaro which with Lionel I mean they can't tear the mold up so it's all sticker I mean, I don't know. From a distance, that looks good. It looks like it's been beat up on the back. But when you're up close to it, you can just tell that's a sticker. Uh, if they would have just cut this part off, I think that would have probably made that look a lot better. You got Hillman's with the 7 Chevy symbol. Hillman's on the back deck. Of course, that doesn't open with the Xfinity cars. You got Algar's on the back window. Bin number 90. It's actually my lowest one I've actually ever got. You got the 7 on top. Roof flaps do not open. No, they do not open. I haven't bought an Xfinity car for so long, so 
some of the stuff is like kind of weird because it looks like it would open and it should open but it does not open but we'll take it to the right side the best side look at all that damage on that side look so look at all them donuts it's like what four donuts there and one with the, over the seven you got hillman's since 1913 with the hillman's mayonnaise you can tell where he got into the wall and it kind of tore a little bit of that quarter panel off just a tad bit made it come apart a little bit which looks really good I mean close up you can tell it's not pixelated which is a big positive because back a couple years ago you can tell when they actually got into the wall that it was all pixelated and this is not pixelated which is very nice look that damage is so good it goes all the way up to the front you can see where the Goodyear has been in where the then is that looks good who he actually battled for this win i cannot remember i mean it's been almost a year ago i could go back and watch but i want y'all to tell me who did he battle coming actually to the line with all this damage i cannot i think it was cole custer but i'm not 100 percent sure and i actually did forget to say that's richard hillman on the right side and you got justin algar over here but you got richard hillman there so you tell me in the comment section below who did he battle coming to the line because i actually forgot oh and i did forget about the tires too these tires on the right side is just rubbed off can't even you don't have no logos on it but man that damage looks so good and you can actually see inside the car which if it'll stop being so blurry you can actually see inside you got the gear shift you got the steering wheel you got the seat and you got the fire extinguishers yeah we haven't talked about the fire extinguishers for a long time but you got two in there i know we always said it in every one of them always look for the fire extinguishers but like i said so you leave in the comment section below who did he actually battle because i cannot remember but you got the front end looks good you got a lot of damage all over this car this car is definitely one that i'm glad i picked up you got the camaro with the chevy symbol you can see the damage there on the right side left side doesn't have much but it's not really a lot a lot of build up it's more down here on the splitter which you can see the build up not much overall on the hood and in front of the car but you just it's just all damaged you got hillman since 1913 which you have justin algar's autograph there which he put a seven you got the hologram there with junior motorsports you got the xfinity banner with algar of course it's purple for the chase or the playoffs and you got the seven on the roof which you have some build up there overall the car is definitely one that i'm glad i picked up now the damage wise let's get actually a little bit closer to just the damage in general it looks good it's not pixelated that's one of my favorite things about these new cars that they're actually not pixelated i mean none of that's pixelated which is so nice you just so clear now on the back i wish they like i said they would have cut that area out that would have made that look a lot better but overall i mean from a distance that looks really good you can see how it's been bent up but if they would have just cut that out i think that would have made it a lot better just in my opinion now the right side is what literally makes this car phenomenal i mean that good year up there has been in you can just see all the damage just in general all over this car and the bottom of the car standard regular four tires do roll but they do not bend since it's a standard unfortunately i wish they would actually go back to what they used to do even with standards they used to turn and all that stuff but that's going to do it for this die cast review overall glad i picked it up definitely one that you should pick up because i got a feeling over time that car is going to be definitely hard to find because of the race damage or they're going to jack the prices up that they do on ebay it's horrible when they're trying to find older damage die cast it's so crazy but if you want to see more of them please like comment and subscribe and i will see you again with another die cast review hope everybody's enjoying their monday